Here we go. Bright, beautiful, spring, cool day. Heading up to Whitburn to meet up the old buddy Tim. We were going to do some riding uh, kind of north, uh, north part of the Avalon. An old ancient highway. This is uh, what was called the Old Cabot Highway. It starts about a kilometer, kilometer and a half up the road uh, north of Whitburn. And it heads back, back uh, up towards the uh, community of Chapel Arm. And from there, I do believe it, uh, it forms a more modern roadway that connects all those uh, communities on that part of the coast. So it's just, uh, it's a great trail for biking, ATVs and whatnot. Um, I was uh, kind of surprised to, uh, to learn about this trail and uh, we were uh, glad to get out and explore it. So we were looking forward to a long, uh, eventful day. We just kind of drove on up in uh, some camping areas, got into a lot of water. I mean, uh, this was pretty wet and uh, lo and behold, we started to get into uh, some snow. We didn't think we'd encounter too much snow, so uh, we figured, you know, this just kind of make it interesting. So we'll, uh, you know, press on until we got to this little section of snow here. And uh, well, the old Beamer didn't want to go much further. It's kind of hard packed. I see him whatnot, you know, and there you can tell the bike can kind of stand up on her own. So anyway, we decided to, uh, you know, have a bit of fun. Well, here's Tim, he's going to get some pictures, no. one of the uh, million pictures that we got. So we decided to, uh, well, you know, let's let's keep on going. This is a bit of fun now, a few little obstacles will uh, make it a bit interesting. So uh, Tim gets out, gives us a little boost there. Uh, we get up here and it's, we're kind of thinking, hey man, this is a, it's a bit more than we bargained for, but I mean, we were pumped. We wanted to get this trail done. This a uh, was, uh, you know, actually, there's probably a bit of craziness involved in here because, uh, you know, at this point, I think we were just fixated on getting through this trail, and it was, uh, it was rough. So we get in so far here, and I decided, well, let's get off the trail a bit, and we'll cut into these alder bushes. At least we can get some traction, keep on moving, but. Uh, Kind of got uh, pretty thick here in one spot and got tangled up down around our uh, gear shift and that. Uh, so anyway, uh, we had a little bit of sense. Tim says, I'll run down and see if it looks a bit better. So, uh, you know, decided we can turn around or uh, or abort. But at this point, to realize that uh, I have no gears. You know, I, I can uh, go to press down in, uh, in first and uh, no go. So I'm kind of looking down, and at this point, you know, we're kind of disappointed, uh, but we're not we're not beaten because uh, it appears that it just rotated on the shift mechanism. Anyway, Tim runs back to grab some tools and stuff because uh, those funny BMW bolts, and he heads back, and uh, let's check it out. So we kind of get at it. I take the lever off. Doesn't look like it's stripped out. Reposition it back where I'll have some movement. You know, and I mean, we were pretty hopeful. Yeah, it looks like it'll work. And uh, there's the bike, she's just laying in there in the alder, so anyway, we're figuring, yeah, we're good to go. So anyway, Tim, uh, he gets ready to move back some of the bushes and whatnot. Uh -oh. Kind of get it fired up and, uh, uh-oh, no go. I have no gear, and it's not a stripped selector shaft. It's something inside. So that's kind of sad. So uh, what do you do? Well, we got to get the bike out of here. So <laughs> we start pushing it out. And uh, the old F800, yeah, it's kind of heavy to push, especially through snow and stuff like that. But, um, you know, this was, uh, it was kind of disappointing, but well, we had to get her out. I mean, this was still pretty early in the day. So uh, we just get her back, get back through the snow. We didn't want to get two bikes stuck. So anyhow, we get it back and uh, well, what are we going to do? Now, we decided to tow it. It's not the first time the almighty DR has, uh, has towed me. I'm ashamed to say this is actually the second time that I've been towed. So uh, first time was on a DRZ 400. This is the first time for the Beamer. So anyway, uh, it's, uh, it's not easy to be towed. And it's not easy to tow. But uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, we've got some uh, experience uh, towing bikes. Anyhow, that was it. It wasn't too far to get back 
basically out by the highway uh, we got out there and got some time to regroup and we're going to think about what we're going to do so uh, what happened I ended up taking Tim's bike drove all the way back to Carboneer got the old truck and uh, came back loaded up and uh, we headed on back to Carboneer to see what we're going to do Tim had a bit of fun while I was gone he had some time to uh, he had some time to kill Tim decided to uh, decorate the old bike and take a few pictures there the old mock was on but uh, we got her in the back of the truck we got home anyhow that's where we were broke down the old Cabot Highway the whole day's plan changed immediately we uh, we got it all back to Carboneer we decided hey let's salvage this day so we uh, grabbed the old DRZ and uh, decided to do some uh, routes right in the immediate Carboneer area so the first section we did, we just left uh, from Freshwater and just to drive up to Carboneer. And this section along the coast here is a lovely road, great road, lots of nice views. You can look at across the water, lots of turns, twists. It's not that long, maybe a kilometer. And you uh, end up right here in uh, Crocker's Cove, Carboneer. So uh, yeah, break it out and let's get going, start the old run. Just check out that blue sky. Man, what a great day. We decided uh, at this point just going to let the old GoPros run and uh, just play right on along this section of the coast. Uh, so enjoy the footage. <laughs> Well, at this point, we arrive in Crocker's Cove, and we're going to cruise right on up through Water Street and Carboneer, as you can see by this uh, Google flyby. And uh, we're just going to give Tim the old around the bay tour here. So uh, here we are, downtown Carboneer. There's the old post office there on the right, War Memorial on the left, the old stone house on the right. And you can cruise up to the lot right there. And there's the train station in Carboneer next to the Civic Center. This was where the, uh, the old train used to pull in years ago. So we just cruise across the old beach here. And if you, uh, right in the center of your screen, you'll see the old train track cuts right through town. Starts to veer off to your left. And right out around Mosquito Point. So uh, here we are just uh, going across the beach kind of heading south here in Carboneer and up to what we call refer to the south side so the train track here would have been right to our left and as you can see right here now we just cross it a, uh, if part of it is made a walking trail so to get on it we have to go just down the road a few feet up a small road and uh, a small road intersects right here with the old train track which has been pretty wild years ago to so see the old CN train cruising right through town uh, the track would have crossed across, across several roadways in the community and uh, you know it's still used I guess different uh, recreational vehicles use it it's part of a driveway it's uh, it's become a lot of things in town so that's still used anyway so we're just uh, kind of picking our way across here so uh, once we get past this next road here I do believe uh, the train track kind of opens up a little bit. We're still in town, but uh, you can wind it out a little. And when we have the opportunity to wind it out, we usually wind it out. So here we go. This would be the south side, Carboneer. And uh, we're just going to book it and have a bit of fun. Uh, obviously, we got to take our time. We get back in here. There's some uh, houses and whatnot over here. Here's Tim. Uh, again, we've just rounded that turn. So at this point now, we're heading uh, basically east. 
This is a gorgeous day, man, for this spring. So this train track here, uh, again, it continues right out around Mosquito Point and back to Harbor Grace. Um, at this juncture here, we're going to just uh, cruise on up this road. We always called it uh, Mosquito Point Road. I think on the map it's referred to as Lower Southside Road. And you can see the train track kind of parallel in here. At this point, uh, we kind of go off the train track, and uh, the old road goes down, intersects with uh, the road in Bristol's Hope. So we're doing a little bit of train track, a little bit of road, uh, just a general tour of the area. This wasn't a, a pure railroad uh, trail trip. So uh, off we go, and uh, you can tell it's the spring of the year. There wasn't much green grass around, kind of cool. And uh, just, just kind of... It's kind of rough. I mean, again, these are these are ancient roads. I guess at one time this was passable by uh, by car. I mean, it's since grown in an awful lot. A lot of places you can just barely pick your way through on a bike. Um, so at this point here, you can see we're actually just cross the uh, the rail the railway, and we're continuing on. So uh, they almost parallel each other. This this particular part of the road here, right around the point and the railway. The railway kind of makes a nice easy bend uh, back around heading back uh, towards uh, Connors Valley we call it and on to Harbor Grace. This road kind of goes out a bit more and it uh, kind of joins up with the, uh, the road to Bristol's Hope there uh, on the other side because this is where it's going Bristol's Hope. You see Tim's got his mirrors folded up uh, a lot of really grown in really tight kind of slow trail but uh, interesting nonetheless. I uh, know that around here you'll also find a, uh, a small graveyard out here. I guess at one time, um, you know, there were houses out here and people lived out here. But uh, anyway, here we come. We're just breaking out here on the uh, Bristol Soap side. And we're going to cruise on up here and across the beach and uh, continue on. So here we are at the uh, beach in Bristol's Hope. Beautiful Bristol's Hope. Beautiful spot. Uh, this uh, beach used to be a road at one time and it used to be kept up fairly regular. Uh, I think the uh, Department of Highways used to use a grader and plow it but uh, I think they kind of gave up on that. Uh, now it's kind of use at your own risk. and. Uh, I tell you, this is like driving on marbles, man. You're dancing. There's kind of no traction. You're, it's kind of like surfing, you know. I guess uh, it's uh, not the most pleasurable uh, surface to drive on. I wouldn't want to do this for uh, a couple hours, let me tell you. But, uh, you know, that's what makes it fun. That's what makes it an adventure getting out and different terrain and stuff like that. Uh, this gorgeous day. Look at Bristol's Hope here, man. I'm telling you. It's a great spot to come down. I, I bet you when the cape and roll or uh, any excuse to get out around the water, you know. Here's Tim. The uh, the old suspension is getting to work out on the DR. Tim has a total aftermarket suspension put on his bike. He's got upgraded uh, shock on the back, upgraded forks. He's uh, really transformed that bike into uh, a great trail machine. And uh, and I tell you, the bike has taken a beat, and it's a, it's a fine machine he's got there. So uh, here we go. So here we go. Uh, right when you get across the beach in Bristol, so we're just taking uh, one of these roads, this main road here. And it goes back up about a kilometer or so. And right off to our left, there's an old trail, a very tight woods trail. You can see it here. It goes back up over this hill. And uh, right at the crest, it kind of veers off to your right and comes on, uh, joins up with the old uh, train track again. This was a tight trail, uh, not a lot of room, a lot of rocks, a lot of ruts. Uh, you know, 
it's great uh, great trail for uh, for hiking here comes Tim piling on up there behind me and uh, at this point I think Tim wanted to uh, check his old GPS I'm just logging some of these trails for uh, future use and whatnot uh, not that we were gonna get lost but uh, just gonna log it anyway and uh, Tim logs a lot of the stuff and keeps it in his archives anyway away we go again just being careful on these trails uh, a lot of roots and rocks at different angles just trying to trip the old bikes up uh, the, the old DRZ uh, was definitely the tool to uh, to use today for these uh, these tight trails the uh, the old BMW would be a little little hard to manage in some of these tight spots but uh, the old DRZ and the DR650 excellent tools here we are breaking out on the old train track here in Harbor Grace so as you can see from this Google Earth shot so cool here you go right at the bottom there that little lake is the train track and we zip right on out here and this is a very short section right to the highway so uh, you know we just get it get it on the go and blast across here and uh, you know what a day I mean it was it was kind of cool I think we were talking here not really warm at all you know it was uh, maybe uh, 14 15 degrees here we are splitting some water lots of water on these uh, these train tracks in the big pothole sometimes it's just easy to cut through it as it is to drive around so uh, so there you go from here we're just going to cruise on this is the main conception bay highway route number 70 for those of you who want to know what route it is and we went right on down to water street harbor grace and we're just going to blast on up water street harbor grace the object is to get to the south side of harbor grace that's the point of land that we're trying to get out to uh, I had been out there once before, years ago, and uh, wanted to do it again. So right up to Harbor Grace, here we are in Riverhead, and we go down. This is the south side of Harbor Grace. We're going to zip right on out here. So here we go, jumping on the old uh, Conception Bay Highway here in Harbor Grace. Not a cloud in the sky. Right here on our right, you can see the old courthouse. That is a uh, recognized provincial historic site. Might even be national. I don't know. You don't really want to... You only want to go in there if you're visiting. We kind of missed the turn off here and uh, zipped around. Uh, watch out for traffic there, Tim. And directly ahead of us, this is the old Catholic Church in Harbor Race. Not too long ago, uh, they had those uh, those two big white steeples were down for a period of years while they were reconstructing reconstructing a lot of the stonework. They've since uh, reinstalled those. So right across here, you see, look right across. That's the point we're going to. That's where we want to get way out there. That point way out there. So we've got to go down uh, Harbor Grace Harbor. Harbor Grace Harbor is a long, deep harbor. Here's some more, uh, this is the old museum in Harbor Grace. And the old Marine Center where uh, they do a lot of work on a lot of local fishing boats and whatnot. So uh, yeah, we're gonna zoom on down through Harbor Grace. And uh, like I say, it's a, it's a long harbor, Harbor Grace, Harbor Grace Harbor, very, very long. As you can see here, we just came across the bridge in uh, the beach, Bristol's Hope, out to the highway, and here we're going to head right on down Long Old Harbor Grace, out to the point. And that's going to be our destination. That's where we're trying to get. So, uh, I'll just give uh, give you another different view here with Google Earth. You can see how long that harbor is. So, right back up here, this is the community of Riverhead Harbor Grace in front of us. The south side, we zip on down here. You see, we're going to see the coil over the old. Uh, the old boat, the old coastal steamer, the Kyle. There's a new marina there, and from there, this is the uh, the actual road. This is an old road that goes out. Uh, there's some pasture land out here, whatnot. Um, but it's a it was a it's a beautiful road to do, as you will see shortly. So here we go. Here's the we just passed the Kyle. Here's the uh, the marina in Harbor Grace, and uh, we're zipping on down here. So at this point, this road here to our right goes up to Bryan's Cove and Upper Island Cove and continues on. A short section of pavement here, and uh, we're on the trail. Now this is a, a beautiful trail. You know, it really, really is. If you if you like to hike, if you like to mountain bike, if you like to motorbike, it's a uh, it's great trail. Um, right here, we pass through a fence. A lot of these points of land here now in Newfoundland have uh, are being used by. Um, people with uh, grazing animals and uh, you know if you go through and you open their gates uh, you know please keep their gates closed respect the animals don't harass them we didn't see any out here certainly this this early in the year anyhow um, off we go we just collected our thoughts back there had a little uh, had a little look around uh, 
At this point, Tim, you can see that, see that rock got flicked up? I tell you, that, that freaked Tim out pretty good. He, he thought for sure something about busting on his bike. So uh, Tim hauls in. He kind of didn't know what hit him. Yeah. I, I let him know. I said, uh, he kind of flicked up a rock or something. Must have flicked off his back wheel. Anyhow, off we go. So here we are, we're just getting out of that wooden section and uh, still heading out east towards the point and um, it kind of gets more barrens out here and you can see all over this point and you can see all over Conception Bay, beautiful, clear, crisp spring day. At this point here we're just uh, having a look around, checking the old GPS, we're heading out the point, heading east and if you can see, it's kind of hard to see with the old GoPro but right out directly in front of us is Harbour Grace Island. And this trail, man, is it ever cool. Just just look at this, just skirting along the coast. Uh, quite a drop off. Uh, you wouldn't want to make uh, a wrong move here, let me tell you. Uh, it would be uh, quite difficult to get the old bikes back out of that if you survived. Uh, but just so, uh, such a great ride, man. It, it was a real cool spot. Over to our left now, you would see uh, Carboneer Island and uh, Mosquito Point. Uh, we don't, I'm not showing you that here on the old GoPro, but right out to the tip of this feather point. Look at this, man. Cool. I mean, this, you'd see some pretty nasty storms out here in the winter. It's just jutting right out here into the old Conception Bay, into the Atlantic. And, uh, down this section here, quite rough, quite lumpy, I guess is the only way to describe it. As you can see here, all this, uh, this land is all lumped up over time, I guess, with the wind and uh, whatnot. You don't get too many trees, I tell you, to grow out here. So we kind of stopped probably had a snack here's a great view again now we're looking back west and when we left here we drove up kind of the center we got to the point uh, we're using the GPS here to help us to find this road over here on the uh, the south side the feather point and this brings us back into Brian's, Brian's Cove so off we go and uh, here's Tim starting out this was uh, lumpy It'd be the best way to describe it. it wasn't rough it was lumpy and uh, again, the old DRZ, the right tool for the job here. Here's Tim coming back. Look at this uh, little beach here. Beautiful spot in Newfoundland, man. There's so many cool spots in Newfoundland to check out. You know, it's just got to get out there, boy. Whatever, whatever way you choose, get out there and check it out. So here we go off again. Uh, going in, driving into the old sun there, and uh, you're having a great time out here, man. I'm telling you, this this was lumpy, but it was soft. You know, a few small jumps. Uh, put down the old visor because, uh, like I tell you, it was uh, springtime in Newfoundland is not uh, not necessarily warm. So uh, look at this shot here, driving along this this part of the uh, part of Feather Point, man. Beautiful. You can see for miles. It's uh, wonderful. It almost looks like you're being Ireland or somewhere here, you know. Anyway, we get back up to a point here. We know that we've got to go south, and uh, kind of searching around for a path when there really isn't one, at least we couldn't find it, so uh, this was uh, an interesting section of the ride, you know, we were just, it's the kind of terrain that you can just kind of head off wherever, and uh, well, the farther we got, the rougher it got, and we could see, and Tim was checking his GPS, directly down there, Tim says, that's where the road is, that's where we gotta get, so uh, we just kept picking our way down, man, let me tell you, it got rough, you're going over blueberry bushes, boulders, rocks, um, you know, look at Tim there, he just brought up man on some kind of boulder. We took our time, we picked through it, and um, you know, luckily it was all downhill, and you know, a great one thing about a great cool day, you haven't really got to worry about the bikes overheating too much, I mean, uh, the air is that is liquid cooled, the big DR, the mighty DR is air cooled, but we had no problem with overheating. 
Finally, we broke out right on top of this uh, these fields. Ancient fields. I mean, um, one time people lived out here. This would have been uh, farm fields and whatnot. And uh, anyhow, look at the suspension on the old deer there, getting a good old ripping. Anyway, time to head on up to uh, Brian's Cove along this section of the coast, and uh, let's give her. So here we are breaking out in uh, Brian's Cove. This road here is the end of the road in Brian's Cove, the beginning of the road for us. Uh, Brian's Cove, beautiful community nestled right along the shores here of uh, Brian's Cove. This is Brian's Cove right here in Brian's Cove Beach. Anybody you get a chance to ride out, even if you can go to the end of that road there in Brian's Cove, that is such a cool road, man. There's twists, there's turns, uh, some lovely uh, houses, fields, great views. Anyway, uh, we're kind of heading back west here now. This section here, you can see in the old flyby, it's up over the ridge in Upper Island Cove. Quite a high elevation here. Um, not many flies up here, let me tell you. So we're heading, right now, we're, we're kind of heading back to Route 70 in Clark's Beach. And that's where me and Tim are going to uh, part our ways. But for here, we go back down here on Island Cove. And we're going to go over, uh, they call this Bishop's Cove Road. That's where we're heading to, Bishop's Cove Road. So uh, off we go, Bishop's Cove, uh, beautiful little community, uh, nestled right along the coast, you know, lots of trees, lots of curves, up and down, beautiful road, short road to do, if you get the opportunity on your bike, street bike, trail bike, get out there and do this little section, um, you know, lots of photo ops, and you're right on the water, man, let me tell you, you come to Newfoundland, these are the roads you got to look for, and there are loads. You know, some of them are dirt roads, some of them are paved, uh, but they're just, uh, they're just great roads. Beautiful. They're all short, but they're great. Anyway, at this point, uh, we're heading up through Island Cove. We just came up over uh, Island Cove Ridge there, and we're heading down now. We're, we're going to Bishop's Cove. This is the last section before we part ways. And uh, again, you know, Bishop's Cove, Cove's road is right on the water. I mean, you know, pretty much a guardrail a whole while up on your left, and uh, it's great views, man. I'm telling you, lots of twists and turns. These are motorcycle roads. This is like the uh, this is where you want to be in Newfoundland. Find out these roads and do them. Anyway, that pretty much uh, the end of our old ride today. Uh, what started out to be a north uh, a north uh, Avalon ride on the Beamer ended to be a Conception Bay ride on the old Suzuki. So uh, anyway, we had a great day. Uh, we salvaged it, luckily. And uh, it, was, uh, it was a great day. It was lots of fun. Anyhow, uh, here you go. We're just going to uh, end this whole video with a ride up the Bishop's Cove Road.